I'm Pat Allen, a periodontist from Dallas, Texas, and I have a pointer for you. If you are doing any kind of a procedure, such as a crown lengthening procedure, where you're interested in how much gingiva exists, in other words, where is the mucogingival junction, many times you can't see it. It's not distinct as you examine the patient and you're guessing a little bit. In fact, sometimes it looks like it's in one location and it's really not there. So how can you be sure? Well, the way you find the mucogingival junction is to use a probe and gently displace the mucosa coronally. And as the mucosa reaches the mucogingival junction, it will fold, and you can see that point. Then you can measure from that found mucogingival junction to the gingival crest and have a dimension of keratinized gingiva. Now, the thing that's missing at that point is how much of that is attached. So if you probe within the sulcus, whatever that probing depth is, you subtract from the distance from mucogingival junction to crest, and you know how much attached gingiva is there. So this can guide you when you're doing procedures such as an aesthetic crown lengthening procedure. You would like to leave at least three millimeters of keratinized tissue. So if you only have three, you can't excise any. You'll have to do a flap. Thank you.